What a etiological tale. An etiological tale is trying to explain something by telling a story about how it could have happened. So, there are multiple ones like this in the Bible, but I'm going to give you one that's actually from Greek mythology. One day, the city of Athens had to choose their god. Were they going to choose Poseidon, the god of the sea? Or were they going to choose Athena? You probably guess by the name of the city of Athens, which god they chose. But the city of Athens was democratic, so everybody had a vote. Every citizen had a vote. And of course, typical, all the men voted for Poseidon. All the women voted for Athena. It just so happened that there was one extra woman than there was a man in, in um, Athens. So Athena won. And because of that, Athens no longer was a democracy. They abolished democracy because of that, because the men were so angry that one woman managed to choose Athena. And Poseidon was left out. I wouldn't want Poseidon either. This is the guy that got Atlantis destroyed by accident. But the point is, it's an ideological tale. Why don't we have a democracy now? Why is our city named Athens after Athena? That's an ideological tale. And there are multiple ones that like that in the Bible. Edom is named Red. Why is it named Red? Why does Edom mean Red? Well, he saw one Red with hair. He ate red part of the sea. Why is Jacob named Jacob? It means it's a planter. Well, he grabbed Esau's heel on, on the way out. There are many stories like this in the Bible. There are many stories like this in Greek mythology and numerous other ones. They're called etiological tales. Why is there something like this today? Because sometime in the past, this story happened. 